Welcome to another episode of Abang Goreng. I don't know why it just feels weird. Like I'm in the center. Usually I'm not in the center. Usually I'm in the side. So unfortunately, Abang Rouge cannot make it today. Oh no. Oh no. If you all follow Abang Goreng post, Abang Goreng uh, Insta story, right? You'll notice that Shari has been going to the gym a lot. So now he wants to take things to the next level. Show off, show off, Abang Goreng. Show off a bit. Step up, step Body, body, beat. Oh, oh side oh. 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 <laughs> Since sixty percent of your abs are made in the kitchen, I decided to. Sixty percent. Sixty percent effort. Yeah, abs are made in the kitchen. <laughs> the other forty percent of abs in the gym, lah. Like. <laughs> in the gym. <laughs> <laughs> I like how we are getting this entire No, you get the cheese la, you, you get the cheese of it lah Okay, so 60% is uh, what you diet put, What you makan uh, What you makan 20% is the time spent in gym, your workout, your workout plan whatsoever mm. 20% is rest So one of the diets that I'm actually looking at is called the ketogenic diet man. There's a lot of science behind this specific diet And I'm actually very confused because there are a lot of things going through Because some people say like totally cut off your carbs and all you can lose weight and everything But then like one thing I like about ketogenic is like it's not no carbs it's mm. low carbs mm. so that is one thing that really attracted me like at least i can still eat my nasi and everything but proportionately way below proportion <laughs> like yeah, one one mouth one grain bro one grain <laughs> <laughs> really one grain sorry i think you might be a little bit off there so i might not be the best person to tell you guys more about this but let me bring on local singer actor keto advocate netho So thank you, Ned. We're really glad to have you here with us on the show and, you know, taking time out to be here with us. Thank you. So, yeah. yes, sorry, yeah? No, that, 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 so, because just now I had that, that really wrong misconception that actually Terence corrected. What exactly is keto? I'm glad you asked. So, you know, a lot of people have uh, this misconception about keto because there's just so much information that's out there, right? But at its heart, you know, it's uh, really more like low carb, high fat. Ah, uh, so fat is yeah. like those fatty food. Fat is friend. Oh, friend. Fat is friend. Fat is friend. Oh, that's something I like to hear. Yeah, you know, fat is yummy. Oh. Yeah, fat is yummy. But also, I think, you know, like a lot of people have actually like uh, made fat the villain, right? Mm, but yeah. what they don't realize is that, you know, with fat comes, uh, usually there's a lot of sugar being added into it. So firstly, your body can actually produce ketones on its own. There are two main fuel that your body can use, right? Glucose and ketones. Oh. So among the three types of energy sources that is carbs, proteins and fats. Mm. So interestingly, why the active diet is different from keto diet is because they go high protein, but protein, the end product is also glucose. So carbs convert to glucose, proteins also convert oh. to glucose. Fat is the only one that converts to ketones, but ketones is the superior fuel source. So that is the state that you want to get into. Honestly, if let's say somebody was concerned about how good they look because you know nowadays everybody like the modeling agency yeah. is Instagram, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like like what you actually really want to focus on is body composition and it is also a much better indicator of health. I think not about how much I weigh is what exactly is in there. It's like, do you look good naked? <laughs> <laughs> Answer the question, should we just shoot the question? No, no, seriously, let's just cut the bullshit. Okay. Can I say bullshit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Essentially, everybody wants to look good naked. Definitely. Yes. Like anytime you can just take all your shit and all that, right? Then you're like, wow, you know? Um, Wait, just a number. It's about how you feel. Yes. Speaking of feel, I'm feeling a bit hungry. Hey. So, <laughs> let's bring out the food. Yes. Okay. So we bought this food from this place. Okay, supposedly it was supposed to be a okay. keto food. Keto friendly food. Yeah, keto friendly okay. food. So I mean, my point of view, you're the expert. Why not you just tell us like, is it truly a keto friendly food? Okay, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a nutritionist, okay? <laughs> but I will take a look at it from what I know. Um, so, okay, let's just take a look yeah. at this one first. So I see salmon, um, you know, mushrooms. Uh, there's some noodles below. I don't know what kind of noodles it is. Mm. If it is shirataki noodles, then um, I would say, you know, that is a kind of like keto-friendly noodle oh. substitute. So shirataki mm. is actually uh, made from some kind of, um, like I think- uh, Konjac, yeah, seaweed. Konjac yeah, so, so basically it's just very fibrous. It gives you that texture, mm -hmm. but your body doesn't really digest it. So it, it, the net carbs is actually like, like almost nothing. Um, mushrooms are fine. Mushrooms are fine. Um, tomatoes, debatable, but I mean, I personally love tomatoes and I'm not like super strict. Definitely in terms of presentation, corn looks nice because it's like, you the know, vibrant, bright yellow yeah. and vibrant and everything. Uh, but it's also it's also very cheap. Lah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like like this will, um, uh, uh, it, it 
it's just filler material but in terms of how keto it is i have my doubts about corn nowadays everybody wants to jump on a keto bandwagon so just because they put keto there is it really keto because maybe mm-hmm. if if something is made out of a few materials maybe only one component is keto but the rest of it might not be and so like coke stevia can drink uh? Uh, important question. Important question. Important question. <laughs> yeah. Technically, yes, I think. I don't know. I, I mean, it depends on. Okay. Like, again, look at the nutritional, nutritional information, know. right? I need a paracetamol right now. <laughs> <laughs> I am not bro. I don't know. Are, are you sure you're not just dehydrated? <laughs> okay, let me just drink some more. <laughs> so I'll drink some more water. Not headache. And then yeah, actually, we... maybe dehydrated. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. So we looked at this one. Let's take a look at this. Mm. I don't know what's the base for this. Lettuce. Oh, so it's uh, just like lettuce the same and corn, edamame. Yeah, so again, corn tomato. is not. Edamame is great uh, for proteins. A lot of eggs here, which is also great. You know, eggs are, uh, a lot of people say, oh yeah, eat only the egg. Why mm. don't eat the egg yolk? Actually, there's a lot of nutrients in the egg yolk. So, so you don't want to skip the egg yolk. Plus, it's the best part. Why are you throw away the best part? Okay, chicken, generally, this looks like chicken thai. Yeah. So this is great, you know, like, like again, fat is fat, right? Yeah. The so, skin is okay, yeah? It is okay, but uh, I mean, like, if there's a lot of batter, then maybe yeah. you might want to skip that. All right, uh, shall we get started on the salmon first? Let's go keto wing. All right, yeah. All right, let's dig in. So we'll start with the salmon first. Mm-hmm. Where are salmon, bro? I give, yeah, I give all of them everything. Uh. Yeah. Got no, special guest star here, a bit no, biased. Uh. No, no, you first. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Where are you going to start eating? <laughs> hey, I first <laughs> lah. Okay, okay. Is this shiitake noodle? I don't know, I haven't tried it. Is this not? Eh? Hi, it's not. Uh. It does not taste like shiitake noodle. This is so mm. sus. Let's try the egg, I think it will be good. The egg oh, is never eleven on. Oh, I love, I love it, you know. And egg, I mean, eggs are so... See? I never said I don't like egg or tea. Because one day the egg like, is well my biggest enemy on earth. It's... So will you eat the egg? Why not? I try lah. That's right. Eat the egg. Don't let the chickens ever go to bed. The chicken works so hard to squeeze out one egg in the morning. <laughs> like no, because we are literally I, picturing I a, chicken, that. a chicken forcing the egg out, you know. Come on, I want to go my talk or what? <laughs> Sorry, Rose, no need you already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm done with the fish. On to the next one. Oh, are you a convert? Bro. Walking towards that path, I would say. Lah. Okay, for myself, I would say, you know how people always say, healthy food equals to expensive food. You know, I think this whole like, oh, spending a lot of money thing, right? it's really, what do you want to prioritize? Because literally, you know, I have some people that say, oh yeah, this thing is very expensive. Mm-hmm. But then in one night, you can go out for drinks with your friends and then spend like $200 a night. And then they say expensive. Then the next day they wake up, they feel like shit. shit yeah. <laughs> like, it's just, it just doesn't make we sense. Said, yeah. Choices have consequences, I guess. Yep. Oh, oh, so wise words from quite 100%. <laughs> <laughs> so for the both of you, you know, out how much you, you guys have eaten now, do you guys feel full? Or rather, you know, since this is like one of your first meals without rice. You know, I, I think that's a great point because, you know, in Asia, we are just so used to having rice. Sometimes we wonder, is it more out of habit? Because it's something mm. that we are very, very used to. Is this you proposing a business idea? Uh, <laughs> I have no time to do so much business. <laughs> We should open a nasi padang tanah nasi. So we just padang, padang, <laughs> padang, abang padang, abang, abang padang. <laughs> so as promised, uh, initially I mentioned one dessert. Then I, I never mind. I give you two. Then I, I never mind. I give you three sweet treats. Oh, solid. Uh, yeah, solid yeah, yeah. So of course, eh. Hey, is the after sales that matters the most. Oh, that, ex- that explains why he's so big because he always eat desserts. Maybe, maybe. But, but that's today, why now we do keto desserts. Exactly. Yeah. Ah. Ah. So over here we have from Delcy's. So we have the chocolate chip almond coconut cookie as well as, that's a mouthful man. Uh, I'll have a mouthful later. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the keto vegan gluten-free tiramisu cup. And then we have salted caramel ice cream from Ketoy. Uh, let's not talk anymore. Let's go straight into it. Usually, you can taste a lot of the cream. Mm-hmm. This is more coconutty. I don't know why, but the food tastes like massage oil. <laughs> oh, right. You, you get what I mean? Yes. You get what I mean? 
Cause, cause of the coconut yeah, oil yeah, yeah. So, so and like, so very like, natural so, kind of vibe. So you mentioned like, you know, mm-hmm. doing this on a beach, they are like, oh, somebody is massaging me while anything. <laughs> so like, everything is like coconut tea. <laughs> it's the, the, the Indian, Indian brand oil called Batika. So it's basically pure coconut oil and then you open mm-hmm. the bottle, it exactly smells the same. It smells, the coconut oil is damn strong. Then they put on the hair one. Yeah. Oh, then good one. Then get multi purple You cannot finish that, put your hair la, like real cream like that. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I just age myself by saying real cream? I think I did, right? Yes. But you also know what real cream is. The red, right? green, then below school, then you screw. So you also old la. I see my uncle. Oh, oh yeah, man. I also see my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so let's uh, rate this. I don't like the coconut taste, la, so I'll give it zero manko. La. I'll give it one manko. Oh. It's not bad for keto food. I will also rate it one. I will give it a one for the fact that it's nice and. It, like, what, he, like he mentioned this, like you just put yourself in the. In a, in a beach yeah, setting like with spewing yeah so like for, they massage for, you with coconut oil yeah. maybe they put the food then they rub on you also don't know much oh ooh. Ooh. Food. okay so in total the <laughs> vegan keto gluten free tiramisu cup has three manko and Ned has officially given his first full manko oh, oh nice okay so, so do I get to finish this yes yes <laughs> go ahead go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Okay, mm-hmm. so on to the next one, we have the Delsey's Almond Chocolate Chip Cookie. So this is vegan, gluten-free, sugar-free, keto. Oh, for protection oil. Yeah. Yeah. Will you say not sorry? Are <laughs> <laughs> ready? One, two, two, three. The texture is so different. It's very light but yet crunchy. The menthol explosion in the middle, that, that very cooling taste. I think I like it because it's sweet. I don't know. Do you, do you want this taste the sweetness? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I thought I was the only one. So this sugar is from the <laughs> you mean, stevia. You mean the sugar substitute? Yeah, the, the sugar, sugar substitute. substitute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So this is from stevia and what's the other thing that I can pronounce? No, so actually the no stevia actually, actually not too bad, but the cooling effect that mm-hmm. you you guys feel, uh, that is actually a uh, hallmark of irritol. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That what will be placed here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go with the ratings. Okay. <coughs> one. Net. One. One for me. And I'll give it one mango. Wow! Oh. Uh, four mango. Okay, so right now we have the what again? Salted caramel yeah. ice cream that is from Kitoy. Okay, so like as you all know, I have a sweet tooth and everything. Right? So let's see whether or not this ice cream can actually satisfy my sweet tooth. If you imagine salted caramel, you should you should have the salted caramel taste, you know? Like when you say the chicken or chicken taste. But it's straight up no taste, it was just ice. You got COVID, is it? <laughs> Cannot be, I got COVID. <laughs> I've been eating <laughs> two dishes before this one, right? Like, and those got taste, lah. Yeah, those got taste. Oh. Like, I was just, like, I guess, like what you said, lah, because of the high Honestly, level. You just gonna. <laughs> I mean, if I just come out, you still touch me, then okay lah. Go! <laughs> As I eat more of it, right, I actually understand what you mean by it just tastes like ice. It's like ghost ice cream, right? Mm. Like, it, there's the impression of it there, but there's no body to it. Yes. yes. Okay, anyway, Sharik, how was it? Nice, bro. So you're gonna give me a one? One. Huh? Next. Okay, I'm gonna wow. give it, I'm gonna give it a half. half. I'm gonna go half use on this. Sadly, for me, it'll be a zero. So in total, Kitoy salted caramel ice cream has two manko. <clears throat> okay, before we end the day, I've got one last important question. Yeah. Let's say I stick to this keto diet properly and, and I've reached my goal weight and everything. How do I transition out of a keto diet? Uh, so it really depends. For myself, I'm not super strict on keto, I'll be totally upfront. So like, I actually love using exogenous ketones to kind of like maintain, mm. right? If you go to a six-year-old birthday party and the six-year-old gives you a birthday cake, you better jolly well take that cake. <laughs> don't, be, don't be that guy, oh, I'm on a keto diet, right? Like, you know, yes, yes. the look and the tears in your eyes, you're going to remember forever, okay? Exactly. So don't be that guy. <laughs> don't be that guy. So, so I think essentially what we are trying to do is, is to find a healthy balance that mm. gives you a good quality mm-hmm. of life while still being able to have your goals. So I would say with the knowledge, most people will actually do this Lifelong. Okay, so guys, before we end our show, we would like to thank our special guest lecturer. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Alright, so thank you very much for explaining to us every single, not every single details, but things that actually would definitely help mm. people like us who actually want to embark on this journey. Thank you. Well, this, this is like a science lesson. <laughs> science lesson, <laughs> yeah. So back to school. Yeah, so I have to take my paper later. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> I scared I failed me, bro. <laughs> no, that's why then you can watch and re-watch this oh. video. 
forget to click the like and subscribe button. <laughs> ah, and the bell. Ding, 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 ding. Nice, nice. Okay. Okay, ciao. Ciao. Bye-bye. Good enough, really. <laughs>